Hello everyone, welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, we are going to do the hysteresis band current control simulation for a three phase inverter. Actually, in the previous video, we did the simulation for a single phase inverter and here are results you can see the current waveform the real one and the lower band push curve and the upper band push curve so here just i have this three phase load and i defined these reference waveforms for the current and here I have these two variables, the bandwidth equal to 3, and this is the RMS value of the phase current. So I defined this reference current for the phase A. This is the amplitude that is equal to the sqrt02 times the rms value or simply here i can write the rms value and this is the frequency so the phase b these values are the same only we have this phase angle and this is for the phase c also i consider these conditions for the phase a phase b and phase c you can see the conditions for the transitions that we have this is the current of the third resistance and so on so now if i run this simulation you can see the value of the line to line terminal voltage that is this one vm1.v and here we have the phase currents. You can see the RMS value of the phase current also here for the last electric period. Also, you can plot the push curves and compare with this curve that we derived for a single phase inverter. So, yes, uh, here is the case and we considered an ideal three phase inverter and we did the switching considering the hysteresis band current control method. In the next video, I will replace this three phase load by a permanent magnet motor and I will do a co simulation. Thanks for watching.